Greetings pimps. Welcome to the next episode of the My Personal Story Saga. This is a series where I ramble on about different people of YouTube I have interacted with over the years. Most of them are fairly niche or obscure to the average person but feel free to check out the playlist on my channel under my recommended playlist section. Now it has been a while since the last one but we all know I don't do serious videos for views, clout, or attention I leave that to the parody ones. Our YouTuber for today is none other than Undertaker Freak 1127 also known as UTF or UTF Drumming or now AEW Freak 1127. He has came and went by different names since deleting his original channel in fact a lot of people roast him for that but honestly I couldn't care less. I found his channel around 2012 when PM Rants did a top 10 tubers list and him and the Archfiend were at the top so I decided to check them out and here we are almost 10 years later. Now from a period of about 2018 to 2020 I didn't follow him too close due to him jumping from new channel to new channel and all that mess but I would say I'm kind of an OG fan. Could I tell you my fave videos of his? No not really. He had some interesting rants as well as his run-ins with bigger youtubers such as Omnision but nothing quite sticks out and kind of all just blend together. Around this same time I became interested in atheist tubers as well I no longer follow any of them because it became cringe, repetitious, and boring with no real intellectual value but I stuck following UTF now we don't share ideologies of course we all know he is a statist which does not mesh with my voluntaryist ideology but I digress as I am smart enough to not totally dismiss some he owns non-statist content so to speak just because they are statist. I have def done my share of trolling him in his comments over the years as well as recently as well but it's all well and good. You know I got the troll statists here and there at the very least. UTF did his fair share of trolling as well especially when it comes to his Omnision and PewDiePie content and his videos about that degenerate pedophile Ronnie Redke. In fact that last one is still molding about it to this very day which is frankly hilarious. But yeah there was a good stint from about 2012 until 2016 or so where I watched every single video he uploaded regardless of the topic. That is until the infamous anarchists will you please shut up video. Now this is the one that led me to become semi disinterested in UTF uploads. A similar thing occurred when Cult of Dusty started getting very emotional and complaining about Ron Paul and went from being all about logic to worshipping the state as his god and saying we need the state because insert appeal to emotion here. But I didn't unfly UTF like I did Dusty. It has been several years since that video and he has actually retracted all the crap he said in that one so I must give him credit for that. However he is still statist even though he understood all the retorts to his emotion and authority based points in favor of the existence of the state, so we will have to deduct from his received credit. That's my only major gripe with UTF. I know many others have stuff they like to throw at him such as that Damien Skyfire guy although the funny thing about him is he is also statist so it's just silly and fighting. But as I said, I am not going to unflow someone over a simple disagreement, especially when said person has proven they can change in the face of new logical ideas it just takes a while. Overall I look back at my time watching UTF content fondly even his recent videos on AEW Freak 1127. He's been going back and roasting his old takes too which is deaf coming to believe in if his new takes tend to still be based in emotion not logic. Like many statists he would likely agree on voluntarism in the context of debate but struggle to fully shrug off the desire for the state. Thus, I don't look down on him too harshly. That's about all I have to say. Anyways we out.